Welcome back to Theme Park Wizard. In today's video, we're going to talk about Epic Universe 2, another bio reconstructing construction update. Lots of progress has been happening, especially on the Grand Helios Hotel. Can't wait to share with you all the progress, so let's get right into it. As always, we're going to start off with Celestial Park. And Celestial Park right now, uh, a lot of things have uh, been happening. Lots of dirt still on the ground, but you can see the formations of pathways right now in the dirt, as well as the uh, linear line of fountains there you see the s curve shape for fountains and those three pools of water the pools of water will are uh, and the ponds that are painted blue and the atlantic restaurant as has beautiful glass and is just about complete at least on the exterior here is the progress on that late addition to the slice of park area these will be two new restaurants in a food hall type setting or cafeteria type setting these will be two new restaurants and hopefully this opens with the park but this is a kind of a late stage addition this just broke ground a couple of months ago but yeah they're making quick 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 progress on this they will be two stories so they're already halfway done and you see this that area front will be part of the indoor area as well moving on over to the fountains you can see more of those uh, fountains in the shape of the fountains there'll be quite a water and light show a water show fountain show in the uh middle of the day there as though i'm sure there'll be plenty of cool patterns with the water fountains that will sync up all throughout the slash still park here's the other side of the atlantic restaurant you can see that beautiful blue glass goes all the way around the building the main entrance will be on the second floor you'll have an option to dine er, yeah dine on the first floor with a view of those fountains and i'm not sure but i feel like i thought it was either rumored or confirmed there'll be some sort of aquarium aquarium in the center of this restaurant it does fit um because it's kind of an aquatic type restaurant but yeah this looks absolutely gorgeous cannot wait to see, see the inside of this later on here are look at is look at the super nintendo world entry portal the super nintendo world store or the nintendo, nintendo store as well as moon pie the pizza restaurant that is getting its exterior theming it looks beautiful and fantastic now you can also see some formation of pathways going into super nintendo world and the restaurant and the and the retail locations and the pathway right over there looking at the constellation carousel not much has changed on the exterior although i believe they are getting some gold paint on the steel that's not so white anymore it's now gold matching that concept art but a lot of the interior mechanics as ha are happening underneath that massive um dome as well here is looking at a restaurant um nearing completion next to the Wizarding world of harry potter not sure the name of this one can go over to theme park stop alicia salish knows all the names to these restaurants in her videos if this is a massive restaurant and is looking to be uh, racing towards completion uh yeah, right by the harry potter store looking at the grand helios hotel from the in park it looks absolutely fantastic almost all the facade working windows are in well actually it looks like it is like, on the front side it looks like it is completely in there you see a cherry picker working on something on the second floor but yeah the main glass atrium which looks gorgeous is done as well as the associated rooms and floors a lot of work happening on the upper levels with the ballroom and fireworks viewing area as well and the dome here's a close look at the dome structure you see the mini mini dome is done with its spire the main dome is getting its sheathing it'll look, look just like the mini dome and then, uh, i don't know i think it will have a spire or some sort of top at least um and that spire is probably i think actually a lightning lightning rod functions as lightning rod for all the severe thunderstorms they get in, in florida every day in this over at dark universe the main uh, entrance to the uh, monsters unchained attraction <laughs> looking fantastic the top pieces are still not installed yet again i feel like those are prefab pieces being installed on site and then i'll just kind of plop in it plop them in like legos when they're ready but we're still working on the main entrance on the pathway the bridge and the uh, main archway there that looks absolutely gorgeous and very you know, stone gothic i love it cannot wait this ride is gonna be very very impressive and i can't wait for to see, get some on ride pov maybe we'll get some teases at it because this should be the next Super Nintendo World announcement, maybe next month, or the land announcement, which should be great. There is a little fountain, uh, looks like at least a little fountain, and for the Darkmoor Village, this would be great, because if there, if there is a fountain here, that means each area would have a, or almost, almost every area would have a water, but yeah, they would have a water feature, um, which is pretty awesome. And this little village, I love the shape of the buildings as well, it looks absolutely fantastic. There's another overhead look of the fountain area as well as Darkmoor Village and some doors. That means this building, portions of this building have been completed. 
um, there'll be some restaurant and retail shops here and the village just looks like a nice place to chill out in when uh, you know when you're not riding anything. Another shot of Brackenmore Village where they're covering up the pavement. That means the pavement must be complete in that area. Look at that cool shape of that building though. This little this triangular building. It's like one massive roof just going all the way down to the ground. Looks very, very cool. Looking at Curse of the Werewolf, the barn structure where the swing launch will be happening has doors now. I think that's the last thematic element that it'll have. The rumor there'll be a werewolf animatronic in there. The, you'll see the, they'll see the transformation into man from man to werewolf in that scene and that is the rumor at least and yeah so that's pretty cool that and i see that officially complete and finished lastly looking at the windmill restaurant Feinstein's windmill restaurant looks fantastic again windmill is done uh, looks like the outdoor area is done as well and there's working on the pavement the pavement's all covered up and there's the curse of the werewolf coaster it looks absolutely fantastic this should be a fantastic uh, dining location of this tent right, right over here. Now let's head on over to the Wizarding World of Harry Potter. Oh. When the Wizarding World of Harry Potter, not too much is happening on the outside because it's mostly an interior land. We can see the steel supports for the entrance to the uh, circus show are, are right there on the bottom. And there's the intersection of the streets. Lots of artwork have been, has been painted on the buildings and lots of little chimney, um, chimney, uh, what do you call it? Chimney holes have been installed on the roofs of the buildings as well. And here's an outdoor look at the Wizarding World of Harry Potter as well. You can see the portal looking fantastic and the pavement surrounding the portal looks super cool too. And the murals and the Arc Day or the Arc Day Triumph looking absolutely fantastic. Going inside, more scaffolding is coming down on the buildings, revealing a beautiful Parisian facade. All the uh, completed pavement is covered up and ready for guests and they're still working on some of the storefronts and then that should be complete as well over in the isle of burke we see three boats testing on the splash battle attraction still waiting for a uh, lots of theming but again all the supports are there but these are probably just 2d figures going to place um rapidly all at once but they're testing the ride clearly uh, multiple vehicles which is fantastic again there's it could be it looks like four four people per per side so eight people per boat can be a decent capacity, especially because this ride has no higher requirement. You can have Spitfire Grill, the windmill looks fantastic, and it's complete. Um, and there'll be uh, again an animatronic dragon, a rumored animatronic dragon, you know, um, on the side of that building. There's entrance to Spitfire Grill, and there'll be four more trees to on um, the top of the uh, top of the roof there to make it feel like the building is just hidden in the mountainside. Just taking an overview of the the middle or uh, front section of the land there. The work continues on the bridge over crossing the lake and the uh, fire drill attraction. The lake is all, it's empty, but it's all done. And their work continues on the retail location with the, the dragon houses on top. But other than that, the rest of the land looks absolutely fantastic. It's a close look at that area that will also include a very nice fountain that shows the concept art. Looks like Weeping has been sat on a couple of structures there. This is where some meat greets will happen for the land as well as some retail locations as well man we all know hiccup has been installed um at the first launch for the how to shake and uh, wing gliders coaster coaster but now look in the yellow plastic wrap there we have a massive toothless animatronic he's gonna he's the one who'll be starting you starting the ride as he kicks you off and activates the launch mechanism accidentally so that'd be cool to see how that whole scene plays out next year Mead Hall, as always, looks absolutely fantastic. Now it's all wrapped in moss and greenery, and I'm not sure if it's totally complete yet, or there'll be even more moss and greenery, because you see there's multiple multiple shades of green, but maybe on the, uh, the, the hills, the hills that make it seem like it's far away, there's like a darker shade of green, or a lighter shade of green. It looks like the darker shade of green is at front, but it looks like they are still painting on it, so I'm not sure if they'll continue. Maybe that's the first primer, and maybe they'll the greens will match eventually, but anyway, this beautiful structure, this weenie, uh, so to speak, looks absolutely gorgeous. And what's really a massive restaurant and inside, it will look very, very cool as well. Lastly, we jump to Nintendo. And you saw the Nintendo, Super Nintendo World Portal already, but here's again from a different angle. It's been confirmed via the video, of course. You'll be taking escalators or elevators up to the second level, just like just like Japan, and entering through Peach's Castle. The Yoshis have been uncovered, showing all their beautiful 
colors again at um, Yoshi's Adventure Attraction. There's a couple of animatronics as well, uh, Piranha Plant and the Kong, Kong Door. Uh, I think I'm mispronouncing that name, but not too familiar with the Nintendo or Yoshi's, of Yoshi's characters in the Nintendo games. But here's the front courtyard, Libby Toadstool Cafe. You can see the portal for that has been installed and the various mini games and experiences and beaten grades down there as well. There's another section on the other side of the courtyard. You can see uh, Yoshi's colorful, uh, uh, colorful vehicles as well. And there'll be uh, gift shops like Mario Motors and the one up tree, which I believe will be down here as well. Looks fantastic. The Mario Kart entrance, Bowser's Castle is looking really good as well. Now the turrets are just about complete. There's no, uh, when the scaffolding comes down, they'll be waiting on the attachments like Bowser's head and other attachments and the flags for the each turrets. Mario Motors looks really good as well. You can see the M-shaped doorway, which is fantastic. I wish we got Mario Motors here in Hollywood, but because of space, we didn't. I'm glad the universe is getting a full-scale version of this entire land. The area around, area around Peach's Castle looks great. You can see Piranha Plant chilling in plastic wrap, as well as the um, Kumba Crank game being set up as right there. Um, lots of concrete, but that would be all paved with beautiful Nintendo colors as well. Peach's Castle herself uh, itself looks great. The turrets being installed and the trees being uh, installed on the hillside with a nice question block to the left hand side. Over in Donkey Kong Country, you see the first lift hill where you shoot through the barrel is all good, and there's even been a new Monkey Kong or some kind of Kong installed on the temple that is unpainted but will probably be painted gold as the weeks go on. The main section under scaffolding to the right hand side is still under, of course, scaffolding, but we're waiting for the massive Donkey Kong head, a Kong head, uh, the signature head of the temple to be installed there a little bit later. Here over on the entrance where we're entering the show building, the set pieces for the uh, palm trees and looks like maybe a golden medallion um, have been installed but not painted just yet. One last aerial look at the Donkey Kong, including a minecart peeking out of the station right there, about to go onto the first launch for its testing phase. That looks super cool. And you can see all the details about this land at Universal officially revealed it on May 2nd. I have I did a video on that, so you can go ahead and check that out. I'll link it up at the top right hand corner there. You can also see all the details on Super Nintendo World from Universe next year. And just like that, that is going to do it for this week's Super Nintendo er, Epic Universe update. What land are you most excited for? Are you liking how things are shaping up? Are you hoping this opens in late summer, early fall 2025? Again, it's not they took away from 2025 or summer for 2025. So a little bit of a delay there. So probably going to open in fall, but maybe can preview in late summer. I will for sure be there. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Follow my social, my patreon.com slash club722 for uh, really cool permanent information and rumors and updates you can click on the link there for that and all my other socials down below on the screen. Make sure to like this video and subscribe for more theme park updates and as always have a big day.